In the modern endodontic office, there is a powerful new tool to aid in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases involving the teeth and supporting structures. Dental radiographs or x-rays are a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional spatial relationship. Today, we can actually see that three-dimensional spatial relationship with the advent of comb beam computerized tomography, or CBCTs. Today, this technology is seamlessly integrated into the modern endodontic office. Following a detailed clinical evaluation, including radiographs, a determination may be made for additional information, information that only comb beam computerized tomography can provide. Comb beam computerized tomography provides a 3D image and allows complete visualization of the axial plane moving from the top of the head down to the chin, the sagittal plane moving from ear to ear, and the coronal plane moving from the back of the head to the nose. A quick recap of the radiographs, again a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional spatial relationship. In the axial plane, we're moving from the biting surface of the tooth to the tip of the root, and the defect becomes apparent immediately on the palatal aspect of the tooth, something that was not apparent on the 2D radiograph. As we continue to move up toward the top of the head, the infection becomes visible first on the roots closest to the cheek and then on the root closer to the hard palate. In the sagittal plane, we can clearly see the maxillary sinusitis secondary to the dental infection. As we're moving from ear to ear, the palatal defect becomes apparent. In the coronal plane, slices are manipulated moving from the back of the head to the nose, providing excellent visualization of the defect on the palatal root. The 3D rendering is primarily used for patient education and provides an excellent view of the palatal defect.